Hey there guys, it's Rick Utsa here with Airgun Web for Gateway to Airguns Review Program. That's the GRIP program. So if you want to know the skivvy on the airguns that are out there, you got to get a GRIP and you get that only at gatewaytoairguns.org. So what are we going to be talking about today? This is the new Benjamin Caden. So Benjamin, they came out with a bunch of new guns. Actually what they did is they contracted with Krull over in Turkey who makes some pretty nice air guns. What's even better about those air guns is they're really affordable. So you got these great features at a really good price. And gosh, that's what we want right here in the US, right? We want good features, good price, good performance, etc. This is the Benjamin Caden. And I had my pick of the litter. I could have picked anything they had there. And I went for this gun specifically because I wanted something simple. I didn't want a big bottle gun. I also didn't want a big shroud. I wanted something that I could go over here and take this off. And if I want to go out in the woods or if I want to sit at the range or I want to sit in my backyard, I want to make this super, super quiet. I have all the options in the world to go ahead and screw something on the end of this because that's one half UNF. So you like Don EFL, great. You like Neocleg, great. You want TKO 22, great. You like zero DB, great. Any of those things you want, you get to pick what you're gonna put on your gun. I'd like that rather than maybe have something that's less than, that then I've gotta figure out some other means to get it as quiet as I want it to be. So I have that option, just put whatever I want on here. So. What makes this special? What makes me want to go buy this gun? Well, first of all, let's talk about price point. 550 bucks, okay? So that gets you a really nice looking PCP air gun. We've got swivel studs, so that's awesome. You put a sling on this and you are good to go. It's got an adjustable cheek piece, super nice hardwood stock. The Turks have some gorgeous wood stocks and this is really no exception. Now, is it regulated? No, it's not. So let's talk about performance. Uh, I know a lot of people, it's not regulated, forget it, I don't want it. Well, it's kind of short-sighted. Uh, let me try and explain this to you. If you have a well-balanced valve and a well-balanced hammer spring, you got the right hammer weight, you got all of this stuff balanced, you actually don't need a regulator. Regulator's great, it actually covers up all that other stuff that isn't done well. So if you want to have something that's less complex and just works, find a gun that doesn't need a regulator. Let's talk about that performance wise here. So on paper, you get 60 shots. Well, it's gonna have a curve. I would not take it to 60 shots. I get about 48 shots and you're looking at about a 60 foot per second spread. But if you dial that back to say 36 shots and 36 shots is a lot of shots. When I go hunting, I don't think I've ever taken 36 shots in the field, maybe hunting prairie dogs I have. Uh, that's a whole nother thing that's way fun. and. I haven't done that in some time and maybe need to do that again. But if I'm hunting small game, rabbit, squirrel, uh, you know, quail, uh, that kind of stuff, I'm not taking hundreds of shots. I'm taking 20 to 30 shots in that little space. This gun is getting that 36 shots with an extreme spread of 30, maybe 31 feet per second, which is pretty daggum good. So what does that equate to in accuracy? Well, uh, right out of the box, this thing was shooting great. And I'll tell you that it's got some features that I really like that lend it to some really good accuracy. First of all, you can put the rail here, which lets you put a bipod on it. I actually like shooting off a bipod. Um, personally, I just feel like I have more control and that's good. I Now, I would like to have this bipod more far forward because I think it's a little awkward where it's positioned, the balance point's a little weird, but it certainly didn't affect my groups at all. I shot a bunch of groups and I've shot a bunch of different pellets and it comes down to 18.13s do really well. Um, back to the performance side in the 18.13s you're getting 30 foot pounds. That means you're at like 870 up to 900 is really where we were and that 36 shot group was kind of in that range. It started at about 870, went to 900 and back down to about 870. So that's right at that 30 foot pounds and that's more than enough energy in a 22. To get the job done, especially on small game, that's rabbit, squirrel, jackrabbit, uh, raccoon, possum, uh, armadillo. It's got all of that covered, no problem. So one of the things I really liked about this was some of the ergonomics. So you get into the guns, especially that are the affordable guns, and there's stuff that just doesn't make the cut. Now, maybe they're hard to cock or the trigger isn't great. And, 
you have all these different things. Well, this has none of those. Now, I haven't messed with the trigger. I know it's adjustable, but I haven't played with it. I really haven't seen the need to. One of the things I really liked about how they built this gun is this newly designed cocking lever. So the old crawl guns had a very sort of thin uh, metal, and this is metal, but it's got this nice flat sort of, I don't know, it's just more ergonomically pleasing. When I go to cock this, it really feels feels really nice. Uh, it does come with two mags, tw two 12-shot magazines, which I think is great. Um, and then let's take a look at the trigger here. The trigger is actually super nice too, and it's got a really nice feel. If you get down here and look uh, at that trigger, you can actually rotate that trigger shoe to get you that perfect feel on your finger. So one of the most important things with an air gun is that trigger control so that you're maintaining that follow through, that position, that hold, that stability. And if the trigger isn't great, well, that's really where a lot of your shots kind of go cattywampus. This thing, it just feels really nice. So you take a look and you put all this together and I mean, we've got a gun, it only needs 3000 PSI, so it's easy to fill. You get a lot of shots, very consistent, and you get great accuracy. I mean, the groups I was getting like right out of the box were, you know, quarters, and then as I kind of worked with it, and I'll, what we'll do is I'll just have my video person, which happens to be my sister, I'll have her just put like all of the targets up. You can see the progression of here I sighted it in. So, and then here's the next group and the next group. And then it just all came together and we shot this group I can cover with my pinky at 50 yards. To me, that is awesome. Out of a gun that's 550 bucks, no work. Just take it out and shoot it. To me, that's very, very impressive. Now, the things that does help me do that is I have some really nice glass on this gun. This is the Hawk Frontier, and that is the top tier of their scope line. This thing is beautiful. So, uh, you know, if I were to look at a different scope to put in here, I'd probably go for the new Sidewinder, which I've got one in the shop. I gotta get that out and show you guys what that scope's all about. But I would put good glass on this. I would not go for a $100 scope. I'd spend the money. You've saved all the money on the gun. Go ahead and put some nice glass on it. Then you can make the most of that shooting you wanna do. You know, whether you're 50 yards or 100 yards, you're gonna be able to make the most out of it. And this gun certainly uh, impressed me. Uh, you know, for 550 bucks, this thing really delivered some great performance and great results. So if you're looking for that sort of I don't know, high-end looking and feeling gun without the big dollar price, check out the Benjamin Caden. Guys, that's it. My name is Rick Utzer here, Airgun Web for GRIP. That's Gateway to Air Guns Review Program. You want to know more about air guns? Well, get a GRIP, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. Thank you.